Why do you think this crisis has happened? Why was Linux fired in your, in your estimation? Well, Christian, uh, the reality is, is after being there through two uh, administrations, uh, Inspector General Linick was tough during the Obama administration. He's been there for three and a half years, nearly the entirety of the Trump administration. To let him go now uh, reeks to the high heaven that obviously what he was investigating was problematic for the Secretary of State. And he, the Secretary of State went to the president. The president uh, said he no longer had confidence, which is not a basis really for letting the inspector general go. And so uh, this is an assault. This is the fourth time we have had an inspector general go from different departments. Uh, it seems to always happen on a Friday night. And this is an assault uh, on the checks and balances that governments have uh, over the agencies of the federal government. And that's why we need to investigate it. Whether it was the Saudi arms sales, whether it was personal use, whether it is there are some reports about uh, you know hosting dinners that were really not within the purview of the Secretary of State at the State Department whatever it was the bottom line is we need to get to the root cause of why the inspector general was fired so you you heard you know Mike Pompeo says it's not about retaliation you have called it an illegal act of retaliation I mean that's absolutely. presumably you still say that right Abs you think it's a retaliation abs Absolutely. I'm, I'm convinced it's retaliation uh, because, you know, uh, I've read some of the comments that the Secretary of State has made in response to this, saying that Inspector General Linick wasn't doing things the way uh, that uh, he would like him to or was obstructing the, the department's submission. You know, the, the bottom line is the Inspector General is supposed to be independent. He's not supposed to do it the way the Secretary of a department wants him to do it. He's supposed to do it independently to understand whether or not that agency is functioning in the best interest of the American people in a clear, transparent, and honest process. And so when he says he wasn't doing it the way the State Department would like, well, obviously, if he's, in, he's investigating something that you don't want to be investigated, then ultimately, uh, that, that's the whole essence of why an inspector general exists.